guys welcome back this is the second video in the productivity series i'm creating this series of videos where i want to share my uh, knowledge so that it's not just about coding right if you have a good setup then it's easier for for you to do things as the first attempt i created this how to make your mac terminal amazing you can use this for any other terminals also based on the same same things that i mentioned you there but in this video what i want to talk about is about python different versions of python and also how to create the virtual environment right for example if you go to my terminal i have the python version 3.9.6 and there is no py env you already get the point that i'm going to use py env in order to manage the different versions of python and once you have different pythons this is important because in some of the projects you might need python 3.9.6 but some of the projects if you have watched my previous video also they support python 3.10 plus right you need to have different versions of python in your in, in your laptop or computer and once you have that you need to install packages if you install all the packages without creating a virtual environment then it might work in the beginning but then what happens is after some time there will be the conflict between different packages that's what i want to solve i want to i want to show you how we can achieve that in this video let's get started as you can see here i just showed you before also i have python 3.9.6 and i don't have py env i'm going to use py env right for that what we can do is if you go to this py env github repository here is the py env i will provide the link in the description but you already get the idea and this is the simple python version management package i don't need to explain too much you can go here and see how how it helps you to maintain the python version management right you can go here and see what are the different commands it has i will show you also in the in the video but then as you can see here it, you can go here and see okay how it works and all the different things but i will just show you in this video how to install things and get it running i think that's what most of you want it right if you go to this installation in unix uh, mac os i'm using in mac os you can choose the ones for example if you are in windows you can just go through there i will go to this unix mac os and there are two steps again here one you can go with the homebrew options you can go through this process and all the different process but i'm going to use the easier uh, process here if you scroll a little bit down here there is this automatic installer and that is actually based on this another github uh, repository i can just copy this for now and if i go to this one as you can see this is py env installer this tool is used to install py env and friends right you can actually follow this and as you can see here it also says you need to have git installs i hope you have git install and if you have followed my previous video about the terminals you already know that but if i do git dash dash version then we have git already installed right yeah this is the command i already copied so i can just uh, paste it now here right i will go here in the terminal and paste it here as you can see here it is going to clone that in users uh, sudarshan in my folder as it is shown here it's already installed and now it says load py env automatically by appending the following to this export these things and all is mentioned here right but as you can see here it says here we need to copy paste these things right i copied this but if you go to the github repository also it mentions the same thing here as you can see here and the good thing is instead of github also if you just follow the things that it is mentioned here then it's easier it says here in the bash rc but we are going to do in the jdsh rc because that is what i have installed instead of bash rc right what i'm going to do here is i will do vim to to just paste it that's the code editor i'm using and then what i will do is go to this root slash dot I will go for Z and as you can see here there is ZSH RC. I will run this. I will go all the way at the last and here I will paste the thing that I just uh, copied from right as you can see here and I will escape and then do colon and now I need to refresh this so you can just run ZSH that is the LH I have or what you can do is source and then root slash j s h r c that reloads the things if everything is correct then it just shows like this and now if i clear the screen and if i do py env version 
it will show me here pi e and v and that is 2.3.35 that's that simple we just get the things from the terminal i just paste it somewhere and it works and now if i run pi e and v you can see there are different commands we can we can uh, run here there is global there is local there is the version that i just show you activate and all the different things for example if you want to see what are the different versions of python that is installed here what we can do is we can just go here and do pi e and v right and then versions it will show us okay there is the system which i have by default installed and it is just showing that it is installed like this so let's say that i want to install new python how can i do that right if you go here it says install here install a python version using python build what i can do now let's say i want to install 3.10 right what i will do is pi e and v install and let's say i want to install python version 3.10 i will run enter and it says here okay pi e and v okay definition not found i think i need to provide the space but let's see there is there is a command helper command also here we say that i can list what are the different versions of python i can install i just copied that i will go here and list okay it says here all the different versions so you can just pick one and install i think yeah i made um, the mistake there what i can do is okay this is how we need to install i just provided the python things let me see i want to go and install python 3.10.7 let's say this one i will just copy this one i will go to the terminal i will say pi e and v install and this one enter so it is going to install python 3.10 for me that is that simple now we will have two different versions of python and if i do here pi e and v and now if i do versions as you can see there is the system which i showed you before and there is now pi pi 3.107315 the newest version of python now what happens if i do python 3 version it will still show for us that okay the previous one is being used right let's say that we want to use python 3.10 what we can do is we can just say pi e and v let's say i want to use all the places global and I will just paste this. This is what I just copied, right? I will run enter. And now if I do Python version, okay, it's still showing me Python 3.9.6. What if I do Py env versions? It's showing here that now it is using this here, but it is still showing here, okay, the version of python is being used is 3.9.6 for some reason i have i face this similar kind of issue but what i do and in this case is it i first refresh the shell and again run the python version as you can see here now it says python 3.10.13 because it depends upon um, your let's say terminal configuration sometimes you need to refresh the item or refresh or you can just exit and come back it works like that now as you can see it says that i'm using python 3.10.13 and that's it you have different versions of python now if you want to switch between different things you can just switch from here and another thing is also now i'm setting it to the global right for example i will show you one example it will be clear for you now i'm on the root folder i will go to let's say desktop right i am now in desktop if i do again python versions there is 3.10.13 but let's say that i created a folder mkdir let's say test right and now i go inside the test folder and if i again do the python version here it is 3.10 but if i want to use python 3.9 inside this folder only right what you can do now is py e and v right local and you can have the python version what is the python version you need to use what you can do is you can go by env versions and let's say i want to use the system right i will do py env local and i will just say here system if you have different let's say the versions you can type the versions but here we can just pro provide the system and now if i run again the python version python version it is showing 3.9.6 now if you go outside this 
cd dot dot and if i again do python 3 person it is 3.10 if you go inside the test and if you do python version it is 3.9.6 now i i hope you get the idea we have two different versions of python to work into it that's all that's all i want to show you about the python versions but next thing is about the virtual environments right for virtual environments also you can even go and use the py env virtual environment if you go just here not this one but i think the previous one let me go to the previous one here uh, if you scroll a little bit down i think it was somewhere here that we can have different uh, ways of having the virtual environments also uh, let me scroll down here I think it's better if I search here virtual ENB. Yeah, as you can see here, manage virtual ENB. Of course, you can use virtual ENB yourself or Pi ENB virtual ENB. And there is also different things just to show you that you can use Conda to create the virtual environments. And you can even use Poetry just to mention you that this is the Python packaging and dependency management made easy. You can go with this one also. But why? If you are just a beginner, I don't recommend you to go with these advanced uh, things because sometimes the, there are some complications happening. But let's say that you just you are just a beginner, you want to isolate packages different uh, between different uh, projects. The easiest way I recommend you to do is the one that comes with Python when you install the Python, right? So yeah, this is the easiest way, and you can just use VE and that's it. If you how to use it on windows you can use in this way and it has shown all the different things for different different machines what we can do is as you can see here we can just use python dash m v e n b and provide the path to the new virtual environment right let me go to the terminal here i am inside the test just to show you the difference i will go one step back let me go one step back and here i can i can install let's let me say I can install something right i can say pip install flask for example this is just the example when i install the flask it is going to install let me see what version of flask it installs i can say pip flask and now it is showing me right now if i go and maybe search here pi p i will just show you that how how you can differentiate i can go here and say flask and there is 3.0.1 flask right 3.0 i will see the release version so let's say that i want to have 3.0.0 right if i go here you can just copy this go to the terminal and now this is in the desktop right let me go inside the test here i will create a virtual environment now how to create the virtual environment is python 3 dash m v e n v and you can give the name of any things I will say here dot v e n v just for example i will do this now if i do l s l i a there is dot v e n v being created i need to activate the virtual environment right what i will do is source dot v e n v being activate right now the virtual environment is being activated as you can see here there is the system and there is the test if i do here python 3 dash dash a version it is 3.9.6 right outside it is 3.10 as i showed you before or i or now what i want to do is install flask now i want to install the flask 3.0.0 inside the virtual environment right if i do here peep flask it is 3.0.0 right and now if i go one step back and if I do here, I'm, I'm showing you so many Python versions, but here it is 3.9.6. Again, if I go back also, right? But if I do JDSH, that's how I need to refresh sometimes. And if I do here, it's showing that it is 3.10.3, .3, right? And if I do here flask, flask, it is showing me 3.0.1 right that is the difference now i hope you get it and if sometimes does not work because uh, some of my friends also have told that okay it does not work now you get the idea you might need to refresh the terminal now i will go inside the test again and always when you are finished with something the the good thing let's say is to deactivate the virtual environment if i run 
spelling mistake deactivate right okay it says deactivate is not found why okay alish l i a there is dot v e n v and okay i do source being activate right and then now i will do deactivate okay as okay again like sometimes what it needs is when you go outside the outside the folder sometimes it doesn't work and then if you do deactivate as you can see here the test goes away from here and now this is just the system right the video went a little bit longer but now i hope you get the idea what happens when you want to, you want to install the pi env and how to create the virtual environment and how to isolate the projects yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video